Schools and non-essential businesses in New York State will remain closed until April 29th at the earliest. That from Governor Andrew Cuomo here at the state capitol on Monday. In any event, plateau, not plateau, we still have to extend New York pause because if that curve is turning, it's turning because the rate of infection is going down. One of the reasons the rate of infection is going down is because social distancing is working. We have to continue the social distancing. Uh, schools and non-essential businesses will stay closed until April 29th. I know that's uh, a negative for many, many reasons. I know what it does to the economy. But as I said from day one, I'm not going to choose between public health uh, and uh, economic activity because in either event, public health still demands that we stay on pause with businesses closed and schools closed whether we've hit the apex or whether we haven't hit the apex. There's a positive trend in the number of deaths in New York State due to COVID-19 right now over the past couple of days. The number of deaths since Friday each day has hovered around 600. Here's Governor Cuomo going through the latest numbers. Uh, overall, we have 130,000 people who tested positive, 16,000 people in our hospital system, 13,000 people have been discharged. Number of deaths uh, are up once again, number of people we lost, number of New Yorkers, 4,758, which is up from 159, but which is effectively flat for two days. While none of this is good news, uh, the flattening, possible flattening of the curve is uh, better than the increases that we have seen. Total number of hospitalizations are down, the ICU admissions are down, and the daily intubations are down. Those are all good signs. And again, would suggest a possible flattening of the curve. The number of discharged is down, but that reflects the overall reduction in the numbers. Big question that we're looking at now is what what is the curve? And we've been talking about cases increase, increase, increase until they don't. When they stop increasing, then what happens? And the projection models have a number of alternatives. Uh, some suggest basically the curve goes up and then drops precipitously. Some suggest there's a slight pause at the top. Some suggest there's a longer pause at the top, which is effectively a plateau uh, effect. Or again, the straight up and straight down precipitous drop, which is the peak effect. No one can tell you uh, which will occur. New York State may need less hospital beds than it thought it would due to COVID-19. The state previously projecting it would need 110,000 hospital beds. SUNY Empire State College President Jim Malatris, a top Cuomo aide, explained that the trend might actually be going in a lower direction. And some of the initial projections um, that we first saw at the beginning of this was uh, at least 100, uh, up to 110,000 beds for COVID patients alone, and the peak would come at the end of April. Those were some of the earliest modeling um, from many organizations that it would be at the end of April, around 110,000 beds just for COVID patients. There are other models, two that we were tracking, one being lower at about 55,000 COVID beds, but again, peaking at the end of April. We follow now that we have a pretty robust data set to go by for the last several weeks. The bottom line there, the purple line, is sort of where we are tracking today, which suggests um, it's a little lower. And the question was, what could you do to lower those initial projections from 110,000 and from 55,000? So a lot of the activity was we saw where the statisticians and the um, folks looking at these types of models said it was going. So what activities and actions could you take to aggressively um, lower that overall number? And the answer really was, and what the governor has been doing, was aggressively enforce and enact social distancing to lower the overall number. And this number 
and the current data suggest that that is exactly what's happening. And Cuomo gave credit for that trend to the state's aggressive policies of social distancing. Those, of course, are rules of no mass gatherings, no unnecessary travel, no group outings. But Cuomo also said on Monday that the state's fine for violating those rules would increase from $500 to $1,000. Frankly, there has been a laxness uh, on social distancing, especially over this past weekend, that is just wholly unacceptable. Look. People are dying. People in the healthcare system are exposing themselves every day to tremendous risk walking into those emergency rooms. And then they have to go home to their family and wonder if they caught the virus and they're bringing it home to their family. If you don't, if I can't convince you to show discipline for yourself, then show discipline for other people. If you get infected, you infect someone else, you go to an emergency room, you put a burden on all sorts of other people who you don't know and who, frankly, you don't have the right to burden with your irresponsibility. We'll continue to watch the trends here at the State Capitol for you every day. Until then, I'm Dan Clark for New York Now. Funding for New York Now is provided by WNET.